channel guys crypto lightsaber back again with another video and today's video i'm going to be talking about relayer who are the sponsor of this video thank you very much we're going to get into what it is and uh why it's important and why it might be a good investment for you okay and we will come back and have a look at the chart let's just have a look at the website real quickly i think this is going to be revamped according to information in one of the amas that i've got over here that we will take a look at in a minute Okay, now this is basically a fork of the Keeper platform. Okay, that's KP3R, which was developed by Andre Kronje. Okay, and if you don't know what these sort of things are, Keeper and, and Relayer, for example, they facilitate the coordination between projects that need to outsource development and things like that, which is why you have job listings. If you go on this plus sign, you can add a job and, um, you know, people pick that up and kind of take that on. All right. So it might not mean a lot to a lot of people, but in terms of development, it's, it's definitely important and necessary sometimes. So um, Relayer, like I said, is a fork of the Keeper network, KP3R. Now, they actually claim that it's an improved uh, fork of Keeper. Okay, or, or when asked in the AMA, they were asked whether it was a competitor or whether it's built to complement keeper okay they went on to say that it was actually a competitor to keeper so they're not shying away from that competition is always healthy for business if we look at the market for keeper now the market cap is currently at 42 million okay uh, with a max supply of 200,851 and it's currently sitting at around 209 dollars okay now if we look at relayer relayer's total supply is 110 thousand four hundred and thirty eight all right so that's almost half of the um, supply of keeper okay so if we look at the price currently at eight dollars and eighty eight cents and um, it's definitely got the potential if we can take some of this market share away from keeper right or even match that you know in the longer term we've got basically a, a kind of price projection that we could potentially look at if it was to pick up like that now obviously it doesn't have a name like andre kranje behind it who you know founded yearn finance obviously but the developer for uh relayer is actually this young man right here okay and he actually uh was a lead developer on ghost he was one of the community developers on pivx and there's index chain which he was also the lead developer on as well right so he's got experience and he's definitely someone who's well known in the blockchain development space okay let's just have a look and uh see why this stands out from other kp3r forks all right so the question here poses we have a lot of kp3r forks already a lot have failed what makes you different and better than someone with so much experience like andre for example wi-fi had countless amounts of forks and nothing compared to the original why should we believe yours will beat the original k3pr okay so let's just read the response from that uh, rather than me trying to give my interpretation of it okay so totally fair i think what we saw when deciding to do this project was we had actually used a keeper network but saw some basic functionality that would keep us using it long term wasn't there all right so straight away we see that they're looking at more like a long-term perspective for instance one of the drawbacks we found was the bonding unbonding and liquidity bonding delays were constant which means if there was an influx of interest, the voters wouldn't be able to change demand and vice versa. Along with this, the ability to sell or transfer relay rights, or in that case, keeper rights, you would have to share a private or mnemonic to the buyer, which is woefully insecure. Not to disparage anyone, but Andre has been known for pushing things out quickly to get to market, and sometimes overlooks very basic things that would appeal to a wide audience and longer term users. We saw this and decided to do something about it. Now, that's an interesting point that they make there. And obviously going back to the fact that this is competition, right? And he said that Andre has a, he, he's got, um, he, he likes to push things out quickly without giving time to think about it maybe. All right, so Relayer have actually spent time on this trying to perfect their model and get it to a high standard which will give them the long-term functionality all right i guess that's why they're saying that they're better than kp3r me personally you know i wouldn't know the difference in something like this uh, not being a developer but um it's a good reason that they give you know they, they, they make a good argument for whatever it is they're trying to achieve right so um 
yeah, I definitely think this, this is something to look into, especially with the current price point in comparison to the price point of Keeper. Okay, now Keeper, um, I did get into this at the beginning, all right, but um, you know, for me, there's a lot of hype behind it, which is linked to the fame of Andre Kronje's name. Um, for the simple fact that Yearn Finance went high. All right, guys, um, I didn't know much more about it than that, but um, yeah. It doesn't mean to say that it's the greatest investment the market has ever seen. All right, but Relayer is definitely more attractive to me at this point when you consider the price potential for it. Okay, now if we look at the chart, you can see that it did hit a low over here. We had a double bottom, and now it is getting that bounce, and it's also putting a higher high over here and a higher low, and it looks like it is beginning to trend upwards okay now the liquidity isn't that high 145k but i mean it's still decent liquidity all right 134 holders and hopefully that will increase over time um as far as i'm concerned this is a project that um, should be looked at and could potentially see you know some upside considering that they're now starting their marketing all right hence the fact why i'm talking about relayer right now okay so you guys have to let me know what you think in the comments about this. I do expect that they're going to have more news for us and they are, you know, clearly doing AMAs and trying to get the, the word out there and raising awareness on the platform. All right, guys, so it's definitely something to look into, in my opinion. Now, I will leave links in the description for all of these so you guys can go and take a look. You can read the AMAs. All right, guys, you can also check out the Medium article. You can look at the tokenomics. Um, they're on GitHub, all of that sort of juicy stuff. All right, so that's about it for now. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. And I'll see you in the next video.